This week we're having a look again at Premiere Pro. There are many functions in the program to edit your videos. However, not all functions are so easy to find. So here are 5 hidden features you might not know about. Sometimes you feel like your audio or music isn't in sync with the video. Even if you nudge the audio track one frame back and forward. And that's because audio works in samples and not in frames. You might want to nudge your audio track by just half a frame. And that's possible. Open the timeline menu from this little button right here. Then select show audio time units. Now when you scale down your timeline very much, you will see the actual samples. And if you start nudging now, you will notice it will move one sample at each step. Depending on your recording format, there will be around 2000 samples per frame. The next hidden feature can be found under the preferences in the playback tab. Right here we can see post and pre-roll. These two values can be set from here and refer to the playback around a cut. When you've just made a cut, you often want to see how your cut looks. So you play the video around that point. When pressing shift plus K, it will start 3 seconds before that cut, which is the pre-roll we've set. And it will also end 2 seconds after, which is the post-roll. Next we'll have a look at transitions. When selecting a clip or one of its cutting points, we can press the short key command or control D to add the default transition to the clip. This will be a cross dissolve transition, but there's a way to change this. From the effects library, open the video transitions. Now from here select any transition you like. Right click on it and say set as default transition. It will be marked with a blue selection. And now you can use this transition under your shortcut. Feature number 4. When you like to adjust the volume of an audio clip, you can do so by dragging this line up and down. But it could get frustrating sometimes to get the value where you want it to be. Go to your keyboard shortcuts from the edit menu. Then search for nudge volume and from here you can set a shortcut to increase and decrease the volume by 1 or 3 decibels. Now just select your clip in the timeline and press your shortcuts. And then lastly is something very simple but it could save us a lot of time. Sometimes you might take a shot that has multiple actions. You take one action from it and stick that in your timeline. But then after a while you realize you would have liked to take another action from that same shot. And now you have to search for that in your project to find that clip again. Well luckily there's a fast shortcut for that. Just select the clip in your timeline and press the F key. That will open the source clip in your source monitor. From here you can now create a new in and out point and move that part to your timeline. And that was it again. If you liked this video, please subscribe and thumbs up. We're putting out a new video every Tuesday. Also, if you would like to learn more about Premiere Pro, then definitely check out our premium courses that cover an in-depth training of Premiere Pro. Use the coupon YouTube50 to get 50% off. More info on my left. Thank you a lot for watching and stay creative.